Hey, this is Tony Ross of creativecow.net. And in this lesson, I'm going to be showing you how to create a template. So if you've got a lot of things to do, let's say if you're uh, doing things uh, pretty frequently, instead of recreating the settings for a document over and over, you can actually have a template built up to go ahead and get you a little head start. Uh, the template I'm going to be building is because I do a lot of animations or uh, motion graphics that I'm going to be shooting out to DVD or specifically for television. So I'm going to set up a document at 720 by 540 and I'm actually going to set the frame rate at 15 frames per second as well as include a action safe and title safe little guide layer. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm going to do is uh, the default here is 550 by 400 12 frames per second. So I'm going to click here and let's go ahead and change this to 720 and this is going to be by 540 and my frame rate I'm switching to 15 frames per second now why am I using 15 frames per second this is just a personal preference uh, I normally work in either 10 15 or 30 I go by the rule of thumb of if I'm going to video then I make sure it can evenly go into 30 if I was going to be doing film I'd make sure it could evenly go into 24 so I'm going to use 15 frames per second Okay, and next thing I'm going to do is select my rectangle tool and set a stroke color. Blue is fine. No fill color. I'm just going to go ahead and click and drag out a little rectangle here. Doesn't matter the size. Now I'm going to use a little shortcut here. I'm going to hold down my command key to instantly get my selection tool. So there's the rectangle tool. Hold down my command key. I've got the selection tool going to double click on the rectangle to select it and down here in my little properties area if you notice this is uh, I have mine pretty much the constraints on right now so it's going to be 117 by 117 if I change this it's going to stay in proportion I want to change that right now so this little lock here I'm going to click right here to unlock that so I can change this let's make the width 720 and the height, I'm going to make 540. And X, uh, my coordinates going left to right, I'm going to set it to 0. And Y, coordinates going up and down, I'm going to set that to 0 as well. Okay. Uh, if you forget what X and Y are, uh, Y is the one that has a little up and down thingy. So it goes up and down. Okay. Anyway, so if you look up here at uh, my little transform window here, 614.4% by 461.5%. Okay, that's based on what we had the little rectangle made at it first. So uh, let's not even worry about that. What I'm going to do is hold on my command key real quick. Hey, my shortcut's not working. By the way, if you ever do this and the shortcut's not working, watch this little trick. Move your cursor up here, just click once, come back down here. Now, if I click, hey, it's working again. It's a little hiccup it gets sometimes. All right, I'm simply going to click once on the stage to deselect everything. Okay, now I'm going to hold down again, double click to select everything. And hey, transforms back to normal. It says 100%. Good. Now, what we're going to do next, we're going to copy, Command C, Control C on PC. And then we're going to paste that in place, Command Shift V, Control Shift V on PC. And basically, we've pasted a copy of this directly on top of it. So what I'm going to do next is go over to my little transform window, turn on constrain, and I'm going to set this to 90 and hit enter or return. OK, so got that first little window down. All right, now this is still at 90. This is still selected. So what I'm going to do next, copy again, command C, control C on PC paste in place command shift V okay and okay that actually did not copy what I needed it to do uh, no worries this actually pasted a original one which is still at the 100% so what I do now is go ahead and make this 80 okay so basically we have 100 90 and 80 all right now what do these things mean? Uh, well, let's make them look pretty first. Uh, this little guy in here, I'm just going to go ahead and make it, uh, I don't know, dotted line. 
I don't know, make it red. Okay, red, white, and blue. Cool. All right, anyway. So, we've got 720 by 540. So this would be the active area. The entire thing is an active area as far as the TV screen will be concerned. But what we have these other little boxes for is what's referred to as action safe and title safe. Meaning, if you're having uh, little characters move around, this first little box here is the action safe area. Meaning, it doesn't mean your animations have to start here. It just means if you want to have something really cool that people are looking at, then try not to go outside of that area. Okay? You can still have things come on from outside of the stage and then exiting off of there. Okay? But kind of keep the action in that area. Title safe. This little area means if you're having titles or uh, whether it be the title of something or if you're writing out a menu for something, like if you're doing a DVD menu even, uh, you want to make sure that your titles are in this area. Uh, mainly this is because especially some of the older television sets, if you look, uh, they were kind of curved on the edges there. So uh, this is a good rule of thumb and it's a nice way to keep your animation going. So I got that built. So the next thing I want to do is going to change this layer name. Simply double click here. And I'm just simply going to call this action slash title. Okay. And I think that has an A on it. Good. All right. Now, next thing I'm going to do is create another layer and bring this layer down to the bottom. Um, I can call this layer zero, layer one. I'm just going to call it layer one for the heck of it. And the action safe and title safe. I can make this a symbol, but I really don't want to add it to the library. Uh, what I am going to do is set this as a guide, which basically means it's not going to be visible. And it also will not add to the file size of my files. And I'm going to lock that layer. Okay, so I have that as a guide. And I've got my 720 by 540. Got my 15 frames per second. Okay, this is great. We haven't saved yet. Okay, so let's do save, but this is going to be a little different. Let's go to file, save as template. Okay, now I'm going to uh, do a little name here. Let's do TV, and this will be 720 by 540 at 15 frames per second. Okay, category. Got advertising, brew handsets, consumer devices, global handsets, Japanese handsets, photo slideshows, quiz. Um where's TV? TV doesn't is it's not on here. No biggie. Let's make it. Uh I'm gonna type TV. And let's go to my little text document. I've already got some uh descriptions typed up here. Copy. Come over here, make a description. Use this template for saving out files for video 15 frames per second. Okay? So I'll click on save. So that's saved. Now, what does all that mean? All right, great. We've got a new document we got to make. Let's do this real quick. Let's do a uh, new document. So it's going to be Command N, Control N on PC, and Action Script 2.0 and all the stuff. I'm not looking at any of that. I can look over here. Instead of general, I'm going to go to templates. Okay, so we've got advertising, brew handsets, consumer devices, global handsets, Japanese handsets, photo slideshows, quiz, voila, TV. Let's click here. And hey, there it is. And it says use this template for saving out files for video. 15 frames per second. I think that's what I need. So I'll click on OK. And I have a new untitled document already set up for me. So I can start doing my animations and start working on this layer and having everything set up as a guide. So there you go. That's how you create your own template. This has been Tony Ross for creativecal.net. And remember, keep it simple, keep it perfect. If you don't have time to make it perfect, rethink the idea.